Police have carried out dramatic raids in Perth's north and southeast in connection to the illegal drug trade. In Pearsall, they targeted a suspected suburban lab just metres from a primary school and arrested a man in a backyard as the homeowner sheltered inside. Cowering inside as a suspect on the run is busted by police in her backyard, then marched through the garage after his attempted escape from the law. It felt like someone was trying to break in. So, and then I realised someone was actually running across the roof. A search warrant at an Ashbrook Avenue home in Pearsall sparked the chase around nine this morning. Officers running door to door alerting residents that a fugitive was jumping fences and running across rooftops. I just thought of calling triple zero straight away. And then I looked out my front window and I said, there's a policeman out the front already. <laughs> so then I just ran out the door. Forensic teams and officers in hazmat gear this afternoon seizing liquid-filled bottles, evidence of a suspected suburban drug lab which are on the rise amid the coronavirus pandemic. Police say the materials are consistent with a DMT lab. DMT is a psychedelic hallucinogen. It's made from a chemical that naturally occurs in plants, easy to produce and a dangerous illicit substance. The suspected drug lab is just 100 metres from a childcare centre. The house, which is now a crime scene, is also directly opposite the Pearsall Primary School. There's kids coming and going, riding their bikes all the time, and you just don't want them to see that. A man is now in custody, but at this stage, no charges laid. Jacqueline Robson, Nine News. And Michael Stamp is in Pearsall tonight. Michael, what's the latest? Michael, police are still analysing materials seized in today's raid to confirm whether DMT was being manufactured in the property. Police are seeing a boom in DIY drugs being produced in our suburbs as border closures due to COVID cut off supply routes for drug traffickers. So amateur cooks are stepping in to provide illicit substances, including DMT, small batch methamphetamine and MDMA substitutes, easy to produce, but also potentially much more dangerous. Michael. Michael, thank you. And on the other side of the city, police have discovered an unlicensed gun, ammunition, cash and drugs. They stormed a Lath Lane home at sunrise and arrested a 36-year-old man. A dawn operation. Heavily armed police move in to take down a man with bikey links. A fence rammed, windows and doors smashed. Probably about 4.30 this morning, I just heard banging and I literally jumped out of bed. The TRG tracking 36-year-old Stephen Gledich, launching the early morning sting in this quiet Lath Lane street. I just heard he's smashing, I didn't know what was going on. For hours, an extensive search of the Cookham Road house, garage and vehicle. And it's a really quiet family family street. More than four hours after the TRG stormed in, police have now made their arrest. They've seized a number of items from the house. There are still detectives inside. Police allegedly discovering an unlicensed gun, ammunition, cash, methamphetamine and drug paraphernalia. Well, whatever they were up to, they were good at hiding it because, yeah, like we've never had any dramas on this street. Nine News understands the operation is connected to a raid on the club Darrow's bikey gang headquarters last week. Stephen Gledich was accused of drug trafficking in 2017 but cleared. He now faces six fresh charges, including drug and firearm offences. The car enthusiast clearly believes in karma. Darius Winterfield, Nine News.